extreme value theorem. If a function f of x is continuous on a closed interval a, b, then f of x or that function has both maximum and minimum value on a, b. Now, sa ngayon, ang gagawin naman natin is kukunin natin yung mga extremes or absolute extremes ng given function. Now, graphically, ito yung, sinasa ito yung um, sinasabi ng extreme value theorem na kapag ka meron kang uh, function on a closed interval a, b, meron kang extreme on a minimum and maximum value na included dito sa um, interval na ito. Now, itong sa graphical display na meron tayo sa board, Pinapakita dito yung mga local maximum, local minimum, absolute maximum, and absolute minimum ng isang function. So, itong dalawang point na to, ito ang tinatawag natin na local max, at ito naman ang local minimum, given this function na merong graph na uh, ganito. Tapos, itong uh, pinakamagbaban yung uh, um, point dito sa graph nyo, sa function na ito, ito ang tinatawag na absolute minimum, at ito naman pinakamataas yung absolute maximum. At tapos, ito yung end point nyo given ng interval. So, ito yung graphical uh, representation ng isang function na kung saan makikita nyo yung mga absolute minimum and maximum at saka local minimum and maximum. Ito yung una natin example. Meron tayong function na kailangan nating hanapin yung mga absolute extrema nitong function na to. Meron tayong tatlong steps kung paano natin makuha yung absolute extrema ng given function without really looking at the graph. So yung function natin is 3x squared minus 12x plus 5 on a given interval at 1 and 4. Now yung first step natin is kunin natin yung mga critical numbers. Ang critical numbers, yun yung... Uh, um, values ng x nyo ng first derivative when you set your first derivative function into zero. So yung given yung original function na f of x, ang f prime of x will be 6x minus 12 at kukunin natin or solve natin yung value ng x mula dun sa f prime of x or yung first derivative. So 6x minus 12 is equal to um, 0, therefore x is equal to 3 kapag nasolve natin siya. At itong x equal to 3 na to, ito yung tinatawag natin critical number. Now, ang second step naman is kukunin natin yung mga values ng y based doon sa given interval at saka dito sa ating critical number. So, kukunin natin si f of 1 f of 4 at f of 3. Since f of 1 and f of 4 and f of 3 ang kukunin natin, ang function na gagamitin natin is yung original function. So yung original function, function natin na 3x squared minus 12x plus 5, plug in the values of your um, interval which is 1, 4 at saka yung critical number at makukuha nyo yung mga numbers na negative 4 for f1, 5 for f of 4 at negative 7 for f of 3. Now, yung step 3 natin is compare natin yung mga values nila para makita natin yung absolute extrema, yung pinakamababa at pinakamataas na number based doon sa ating critical number at saka given interval. So, yung f of 4 natin is negative 4, yung f 4 natin is positive 5, at yung f of 3 natin is negative 7, base dito sa calculation natin sa step 2. So, therefore, ang maximum natin is yung f of 4, at ang minimum natin dito is yung f of 3. So, yan yung pagkuha ng absolute extrema given a function and it's close, sa close interval na ito. Now, sa second example, meron tayong function na 3x to the fourth minus 4x cubed on a closed interval negative 1 and 2. So, gagamitin ulit natin tatlong steps sa pagkuha ng mga extreme or extrema ng ating function. So, step 1 is getting the first derivative and then setting the derivative function into 0 para masolve niyo yung value ng x. And in this case, from 12x cubed minus 12x to the second, um, which is your first derivative, kukunin natin yung value ng 0 by factoring. So, pinactor out ko siya, meron akong 12x squared and x minus 1 equal to 0 using the zero product property x is equal to 0 and x equal to 1. So, dalawa yung critical numbers natin. Now, yung step 2 is kukunin natin yung mga values ng y nung ating closed interval at saka nitong ating mga critical numbers para makita natin kung saan yung extrema ng given function. So, yung f of negative 1 natin is equal to 7. Yung f of 2 natin is equal to 16 f of 0 is equal to 0, and f of 1 is equal to negative 1. At 
uli, tandaan nyo na ang kinukuha nating equation dito is yung f of x at hindi yung f prime of x. Now, for, for step number 3, ikukumpara na natin kung ano dito yung pinakamataas at pinakamababa nating value. At dito, nakita natin yung f of 2 natin yung pinakamataas, which is 16, at yung f of 1 natin yung pinakamababa, which is negative 1. So, itong dalawang values na to yung ating absolute extrema.